this little tutorial I'm doing tonight is to make a little top hat. Um, probably, and in in the group on Facebook, a li a little sorry, just a sprinkling of dot 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 dot. It's a group I run, and one of the challenges <coughs> is set by uh, one of the members. Her name's Sigrid. And uh, she challenged she challenged us to make a top hat. So I found a pattern um, that I downloaded of you know to make actually a top hat and um, so here we are. I've got it got the pattern uploaded on the group and um, so this these are the main pattern pieces and what you do you mark, as you can see, this is where you snip it to the dotted line and you cut out the dark areas. And this piece is the tab, of course. And this piece is where you, where it's on a fold. So you would draw that out up like those three sides, flip it and then draw that side out. Because it's slightly curved as well, you need to make sure that you flip it the right way, like that. So that's that piece. Then this piece is the brim. And just on the inner curve, you snip it out, snipping those dark areas out. This is the tab, as you can see. And this end is where it's on a fold again. So you draw around this curve, outer curve, and round to there, stop there, flip it, and you draw around the other half. So you get nearly a full circle, which is the brim. Then you cut the crown, and you again you snip away all the dark areas, cut out all those little triangles, and so that would be to make the out, outer parts of the hat. You want the same again, uh, but this time cutting away the outer circle so you just get the inner part, which is there. So that's your, that's your gonna go up on the inside of the hat. Then you want to uh, uh, this part of the brim but without that inner circle there so you see it's like that okay and the same for the side you just want that centre part and tab right so firstly, we'll work on these pieces, the, all the inner parts of the hat we'll put to one side. This is a piece of paper I printed and I'm going to, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to glue these pieces that I've trimmed, I'm going to glue these to the back side of it. So. To make sure that this ink doesn't seep through, which I hope it doesn't, um, I'm going to now use some mod podge. Mod, mod, no. <laughs> mod podge. <laughs> and I'm going to glue these in place. So here's all I'm doing to get um, the actual shape of these curved pieces. Is I've drawn around it, made a centre mark there, and then line it up. Best you can. 
bear in mind I shake, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, bear in mind that this is wider because it's got the teeth both sides. All right, it would normally it would be like that. So because we're on this inner one, we don't want the teeth. We cut that away, so that's why it's narrower. So we've got that marked out now, and no room for that so we'll mark that um, on here so that's that uh, then I'll get a, a little piece of card so that's your fold there And this is also narrower because, again, we've cut the teeth away. Then flip it over, marry it up, so you get a duplicate side. And once it's all pizzled out, look, we've got it all in one, like that. So you end up with that, and that's all you do. So I'll cut these out, and um, cut these out, stick these on top as well. No, I won't. I lie. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cut these out, and uh, yeah will be ready for the next stage. On this though, because you're going to see the underside as well as the top side, it doesn't matter on the inside pieces because they won't be seen really. But on on the um, on the brim, I've done it so that it's got the same paper either side because because when you put it on your tree, you're still going to see the underside of the brim. And there we have it. So I shall be back in another moment and um, we'll get cracking. So now my uh, brim is papered both sides and I've marked the, um, the flap already and it gets glued like that. Um, you notice as well that I've cut the teeth around the inside. Uh, the brim, uh, that's the brim, and so the the side of the hat um, has been papered the other side, and as you can see, I've cut the teeth there as well, and the flaps are ready to score and and. Uh, together like so. Then that's been cut ready and this is going to be the inside so when this is all glued down um, that gets glued inside there like, like so. And when the hat's all been piece together, that's when I then glue this together to go up inside the hat, kind of like that. So now we're at that point, um, let's get cracking. So firstly, I'll use a strong glue. on just to make sure because I don't want this hat going anywhere
Here we are. So I would have put some um, other trimmings around uh, and ribbon, but you get the general idea of what the hat will look like. So, assuming that this is like the cord I'd use, or something that's thicker, I would glue it around the inside of there and it will nicely hold up, um, hide up that, um, you know, that rim. And if I could chance it with the shaking, I would put it around the edge of there as well, like I used to do on my dolly hats. But, uh, yeah, you might. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. Not quite what I envisaged, but there we are. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Even though it was a bit of a shambles. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks very much everybody for joining me. And um, I look forward to seeing yours that are being made so much better than mine. <laughs> Undoubtedly. So thanks again. And um, I shall be back very soon. Because I've been asked to show how to make a ribbon rose. So, um, that's going to be my next video, hopefully for tomorrow night. Um, meanwhile, enjoy. Cheerio. Bye-bye.